Today, my topic is Michelson interferometer. It works on the principle of uh, Newton's rings. The applications of uh, Newton's rings is this instrument. It is used to determine the wavelength of the light, refractive index of the material, and uh, the resolution of the spectral lines. First of all, in this experiment, I have to consider one monochromatic source here, this and two transparent glass plates G1 and G2, two transparent glass plates by arranging at 45 degrees of inclination. Then I have to place two mirrors M1 and M2. This is one telescope. I have to observe by using this telescope, we can observe the fringes. Here the working is whenever light incidence on the plate G1, this refracts and enters into this plate then from at this particular point one ray reflects towards the mirror M1 and one ray refracts towards the glass plate Z2. Before that we have to apply some uh, coating, a silver coating this side to this material. That's why it can be act as perfect reflector as well as perfect transmitter. Here this light beam, the reflected light beam instance on M1, immediately it reflects back towards the telescope and this G2 transmits the light and the instance on M2 and reflects back by this part and again by touching here it reflects then these two beams the a reflected beam from this G1 and a reflected beam of this M2 and G2 combined to form fringes here by observing this telescope we can find the fringes so actually what is happening here what is the medium behind this to produce interference fringes actually this is a mirror M2 it appears in this mirror in the back side that this M2 appears inside this mirror which is M1 so if the mirror is appearing at a particular place like this inside this mirror means we have to assume a virtual mirror here outside the M1 that means this mirror is appearing inside the mirror of maintaining certain distance then we can assume a virtual mirror outside this what happens is the air field trapped between this real mirror and this virtual mirror gives the interference fringes here. The condition is if M1 and M2 are perpendicular to each other that means M1 is along the x-axis and M2 is along y-axis then they give circular fringes. They give circular fringes like this. It produces circular fringes. If we tilt this mirror by adjusting these screws, then if this is M1 and this is M. -1. 
if M2 is tilted like this, if M2 is tilted like this, in this mirror, this M1 is as it is, but M2 is somewhat in this landing position, it produces elliptical fringes like this. These are the elliptical fringes observed by this telescope. If this is M1 and uh, this is M2. This is M2 dash. This is MS. This then this resultant gives again elliptical fringes in another direction. In this direction. This if the two mirrors are intersect with each other, that is this is M1 and that means further tilted this mirror, then it gives the fringes of straight line. It gives straight line fringes. Okay, so this is our experiment. Actually, in case of uh, Newton's rings, in case of Newton's rings, the fringes forms at the position of the the Newton's rings. The fringes forms at this particular place, but here the fringes forms in between these two mirrors. This is a virtual mirror. This is real mirror. For that, we have to use a telescope here. We have to zoom these fringes, and uh, we can observe by zooming the fringes. But here. We have to use a traveling microscope which magnifies the fringes. Okay, so this question uh, nearly carries 9 to 10 marks. This is qualitative only, there is no expression, there is no need of expression. If you write, if you draw this diagram and uh, able to write description of this, then you definitely get maximum marks. Okay, so follow this, write this and uh, subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.